to explore social engineering module let's click on social engineering and now there we have different modules which we can actually use for example at the moment we are going to use this fake flash update so in this fake flash update what will happen so if we click there details will be here it says that this module will prompt the user so user on victim machine user on our target so there will be a prompt message to install and update to adobe flash player so some kind of message will be displayed on the target machine and when the user will click or will try to update it the user will see actually what's going on i mean user will be downloading something malicious and for this we have to give the ip address of our of our um, kali Linux machine or the attacking machine so that is 192.168.201 168 so this is the target i mean this attacking machine address and then payload we have selected custom payload we have here other option as well and then we are going to click on this execute button to execute this model so when i click here and uh, then we go to our window here and you can see we have this and this pop-up window has appeared here and you can see here this uh, as a result of this window if, if user sometimes is uh, just wants to update this so maybe if they click on this install button you can see the user is redirected somewhere and something is being downloaded so this has been detected that uh, I mean some updates are there but you can see the user has downloaded something um, malicious okay so we saw that this is also possible by this so now again st still we are on the same page which is hooked to our tracking machine so maybe I just minimize it so that it should give us impression that we are on Windows 7 machine okay so we go back to our Kali Linux machine and let's export some other module for example we have here fake notification bar so you can see displays a fake notification bar at the top and the screen and similar to those presented in, in Internet Explorer. For example, this is the notification, fake notification will be displayed. So we are going to maybe execute this as well. So execute, we saw this message and let's go back here in Windows 7. Do we have some message? Yes, you can see we have this message. So again, we are going to refresh it. We are still on the, our hook page and then we go back here and then we can see there are multiple options there and uh, this is also interesting that um, for example we all have maybe gmail account for that maybe have we have google phishing so when we click this option and uh, then we if we execute it the user will actually see a gmail page right so what will happen we maybe we click on this execute execute this command send to this and now if we go to our windows 7 machine you can see on our windows 7 machine even though we are on the same link but in this screen we are seeing this username and password fields and maybe if user sees that and maybe i forgot or maybe they want to they the website wants uh, want me to re-log in if the user will give maybe any username for example and maybe any password and if user clicks there you can see as user clicks you see this user has been re redirected to the original page you can see now accounts.google.com and this is actually this page is and this depends on what ip address we have given in our kali Linux machine right here you can see this is the xss hook page if we had given this some um, this um, ip address of kali Linux machine then we would be direct redirected again but now at this moment we have this on our target machine right so again for example if i'm going to uh, just close it and now we want I, I want back maybe i click there okay now we are again hooked back to our attacking machine let's explore some more modules so for that we are going back to our kali linux machine and here we also have another option that is uh, pretty th click there and this is said that this is uh, ask the user for their username and password using a floating type and for this what should be dialog type say this is facebook and here custom logo maybe we need to give ip address of our machine that is 192.168.204.128 and this is facebook and if you execute it 
So you can see in dialog type, we can have different options, LinkedIn, Windows, YouTube, and the iOS is different. So for example, at the moment I'm using Facebook. So when I execute it, it means the target user should see Facebook pages, uh, some window there. So let's play it. At the moment you see, we don't have anything. And if we go back to Kali Linux, and if we execute it, so we should have this command that this has been sent and this mo module has been executed. So now we see the result on Windows 7. You can see now we have this result that one Facebook session timed out. So like for example, user was visiting Facebook page, but all of a sudden the user sees this message. Maybe user wants to re-enter or re-login into that. Maybe user in negligence can give the username and this any username this can be any my name or anything yes my name and then any password for example any password and then when click login here so when clicks login do you want to save we don't save it but what happens here on Kali Linux machine so on Kali Linux machine you see here if we click on this module result history click there and you can see here the the username is my name and password is this which has been captured from the attacking machine so this is also possible you see here so that is a, a, a phishing in this way actually we can uh, explore other modules and if you want to read about those for example for, about google phishing or every any module if you want to explore it more you can see just we select it and then we will have the details about that and then just we have to execute it so we can explore all these module phishing and in the same way we can also ex explore maybe other modules for example network in the network if we have i mean there are many options available for different modules available which we can run for example if i use this port scanner which will be scanning which will be scanning port at the target machine so we click there and then this is the and this is the description for that and this is the host ip address which we want to scan and then there are the port numbers which we want to scan and after that maybe we will have some results here maybe if we give the ip address for windows that is 137 and if we execute it message is sent and if we click on the result history maybe it says that it's scanning those ports okay so in this way we can actually uh, get result but uh, we can also explore all these available modules very interesting tool just because of visiting some malicious website, there was some hook, some malicious code. And uh, in this way, maybe a victim can give uh, the control of its machine, it's not complete control, but somehow given control of the machine to the attacking machine. So we should always be careful when visiting different URLs sent to us in our spam emails or in some, some, some phishing emails. So it means we should always be very much careful when we are uh, using internet services so this was it for today and uh, hope to see you in some other video and thank you very much